Hi, I will show you how to use Evil Jinx 2 with KeepNet Labs Fishing Simulator today. We can start with Evil Jinx 2 first. In this video, I will be using a Linux distribution. I'm starting Evil Jinx 2. I already created a fishlet, so in this tutorial, we will focus only on how to use it. I must create a lure using a fishlet that I have predefined. To create lures, I type the command lures create outlook. With the lures command, I can view my existing lures. I will change my URL using the following command to modify the landing page address. By typing the command lures get URL 0, I obtain the landing page address for the lure I created. Let's copy the address. I will modify the email I send with the KeepNet Labs phishing simulator. For this scenario, I chose a Microsoft Teams themed email. I will replace the Fishing Girl merge tags within the email with the link created with Evil Jinx 2. I updated the Verify I'd button and the Privacy policy. Now we can save our email template. From the scenario section, I will launch a phishing campaign for my chosen scenario. I click the fast launch button and select the human resources group as the target user group. This group contains only one user. I click the next and then the launch buttons to send the mail. We can move to our target user's computer. Opening our user's mailbox, we can see the phishing email arrive within 10 seconds. We click on the verify ID button in the email. Upon checking the URL, we are redirected to live.acmemanufacturing.co.uk. I enter my email address and password. When I click the sign in button, I see a warning for entering the wrong password. I enter my password again. After clicking the sign in button again, I am redirected to a two-step verification code step. I enter the verification code. We have logged into the user's account. Now as an attacker, let's see what information we captured in Evil Ginks 2. In Evil Ginks 2, I can view the user's email address, the first entered wrong password, and the subsequent correct password. Now let's see if we can capture the user's cookies with the sessions command. We can see that we have captured a session. Let's view the details of this session. Now I copy these cookies. And as an attacker, enter Outlook.com in my browser. I import the copied cookies using a plugin called Cookie Editor. Let's refresh the page.
we were able to log in to the user's account, and we can also access the user's mailbox. As you can see, we managed to hijack the user's session and gain access to their mailbox. Today we discussed performing a phishing simulation using Evil Jinx 2 and KeepNet Labs. Thank you for watching and stay safe.